Hi everyone, it's me, Ben Pearson, former Channel 5 Police Interceptor, and I'm here because I've got so many requests to have a look at the pursuit scene from the film Bullet with Steve McQueen. I've been asked to review this video because people want to know what it's like in a pursuit and if it's anything like it is in real life. So apart from it being in America, on different roads, driving American cars, and in the late 60s, it's going to be nothing like it is in the UK, but we'll give it a go. <laughs> Now, if you don't know what this is, it's a film where Steve McLean's a cop. He's driving, I think it's a 390 Mustang, and he's chasing a Dodge Charger 440. These cars are phenomenal, they sound brilliant, and I want to get into it right now. So don't go anywhere, pop pickers, let's have a bit of a look. Before we go any further on this video, don't forget to click the bell icon, click subscribe, click follow and do everything you need to so you get every single notification when we upload a new video and you're told there and then. Let's get into this video right now. Hey up, he's buckling up. These cars aren't going to have any airbags, no traction control, no nothing. Oh, and he's off. Wow. <laughs> right. So let me just stop you there. That is exactly like it is in a real life pursuit. As soon as you see a vehicle and the vehicle makes off, you want to go after it, you do your best to go after it. Then you get some dick blocking your view. It's blocking the way and it looks at you like this. Because you can't understand what's going on. You're like, get out of the fucking way, move, move. And he's like pointing at your car like there's something wrong. <laughs> so that is just brilliant. You can't write that. And it's just how that taxi came into view there. That's how it is in real life. Someone will always block your path, which gives the shitbag vehicle a bit of room to manoeuvre. Those cars sound fantastic. So just to make you aware that Steve McQueen is driving the car, it's not a stuntman, it is Steve McQueen. He's an actor, but he's an avid race car driver. He drives all his own cars, he races cars, he races motorbikes, he does everything that you can do with an engine. Um, he's driving in this is second to none already. And just to let you know that the charge is a front end heavy car, it's quite long, uh, and the Mustang is very, very grounded, and it looks like it's a, it's a good level car to drive. So everything you've seen is done by a proper actor, it's not done by a stuntman. Good bit of understeer there, but I like understeer. Oh, careful. Boom! So yeah, when you're pursuing bad guys, uh, the bad guys are always in more of a rush than what you are. Ironically, that's why the vehicles fail and stop. They will often go around corners, understeer and clip things such as curbs, other vehicles or sometimes pedestrians. We do the best we can. Every pursuit's going to be dangerous. But again, you don't know what you're going to be doing. You don't know what you're going to be pursuing until you pursue it and you've got to deal with what you you've been given really um again you can't make an omelet without breaking eggs but you need to make sure the eggs you break are actually for cooking with that makes sense but you know what i mean uh, if pursuit gets too dangerous you back off you call it off um but if you've just seen there comes around the corner can't handle the car properly and climbs with a stationary vehicle mcqueen's overcooked it Calm and collective, reversing, and we do do that. We overcooks the fault time, and he's back on it. I just want to give to you an idea of what you're missing, what you don't realise, which you'll see soon. There's a term driving blind, which we do, and I don't mean driving blind by you can't see anything. The term driving blind is you're reacting to a corner and you can't see around the corner because it's just a tight layout of where you're driving. So your vehicle then will not be positioned right on the road when you're driving blind. So you're going around the corner, you've got to react to your vehicle. And as you just see there, he's driven around the corner and you can see his vehicle twitching. So as you see in the pursuit, I've not watched it yet and I'll see it, but there's points in this pursuit where you'll see the vehicle drive blind either across the hills and they'll react to how the vehicle either lands or the corner that they've gone round. And you'll see them twitch the steering wheel differently. So have a look at that now and I'll point it out to you in the pursuit. 
So again, driving blind. Top of the, you can't see what's on the other side. Driving blind. Watch the car. The car oh, cars come out there. Again, over the carriageway. Brilliant idea, brilliant thing to see is driving blind. Driving blind, so you're going over the crest of the hill. If the car leaves the road, the, the angle of the car might be different to the, how the time that's going to be when it lands. The wheels could be different. So when your car hits the floor again, it'll react differently. It'll weave, which it's just done there. So watch the next car and watch when it drives blind. Uh, and you can see the driver's fighting with the steering wheel. And that's what we we'll call driving blind. So again, driving blind. Again, fighting the car. Steve McQueen, over, driving blind, twitching, look at him fighting the steering wheel. Again, again over at road, driving blind. Just looks like the Mustang's far more planted on the road than it is the other car. You're going to get that in pursuits. You're going to get where his car or their car is going to drive a lot better than yours or your car is going to drive a lot better than theirs. It's not a match for match. Every car is going to be different due to tyre pressure, the heat of the road, how the driver's reacting at the time, whether they're intoxicated. But it looks like at the moment the Mustang's a lot better planted on the road. Again, driving blind. Oof, yes. Oh, four wheels, yeah, like that. So you can see it bouncing around and weaving as it hits the floor. And again there. Nice. It's close up behind that now. Don't forget these cars will have um, ABS, there'll be no traction control, uh, there'll be probably no power steering at the time, there'll be big heavy lumps, probably two, three tonne of car, big powerful front heavy engine. Um, so his reaction time there has got to be spot on and precise. And don't forget, yeah, the vehicle in front will have a stunt driver in, but his reaction behind the wheel, Steve McQueen's reaction, has got to be so precise and timeless at that moment. He's got to be on his feet and he's got to be thinking. His observations have got to be so far in advance for him to be able to react, and he's doing an awesome job. See the person stood there in the middle of the street? I'll try and move my mouse around him. There we go, look at that. Gentlemen, they're blocking the road. They are using live roads at the time. Uh, there's only so many roads around San Francisco you can shut off, so that man will be making sure no one comes up. He'll be waving his arms like a, a, a frenzied little boy, so to speak. Um, and, yeah, it just goes to show that these are the these roads are open and it, this is an awesome pursuit. I love it to bits. Nice bit of driving there. Good bit of cornering. Oh, bit of a drift bike. Oh, charge a bit of a drift. These are some fast cars back in the day. Again, in pursuit, he's quite close to it. You wouldn't be that close to the vehicle. I just want to listen to that all day long. That engine noise is fantastic. You've got to understand both drivers are poor. Either. Both drivers are cool as a cucumber. Oh, bit of an overtake coming on. No helmet. No helmet. Oh. So again, you can't write in the fact someone's going to come the other way, especially a motorcycle with no helmet. Um, he's reacted well, he's come off the road, and if if it means someone not getting hurt, you, you don't pursue the car. If it means someone not getting hurt, is that right? If it means if someone's going to get hurt, you don't pursue, you stop. Um, he's pulled his car off to the road in order to avoid a collision, which is what you would do. And if you've got to play catch-up, you'll play catch-up all day long, but I'm sure his Mustang is going <laughs> to... Oh. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I'm sure his Mustang's going to pull away and it's going to catch up. All over the road there, isn't it? So you're getting much smoke, it's all lifetime, it's, it's brilliant. V8, oof. 
bring back petrol. Sorry, all you uh, you earthers and oil stopper people. So he's taking a wide line there. Good wide line. He's going to go over to the left hand side at road. There you go. And he's going to bring corner in on apex. Oh, look at that. Vehicles just so well plateaued on road. Wide line. Apex. Line of sight. Push it out. There you go. Oh, what a good bit of driving. And he's right behind it. What a fantastic bit of driving. You can't teach things like this. It's just bred into you or not. Again, corner. Go wide. Look through the corner. As soon as the corner starts going away from you, power down. Power, power, power. Hit the apex and you drive the speed out. Never drift across the other side of the road, leaving the corner. Uh, unless you know it's clear and safe to do so. But that there, you just saw planted the Mustang were coming out of the corner. Awesome bit of driving. You can tell he's got a little bit more skill. Um, yeah. Steve will love you. My dad will call Steve. Old man river there with a shotgun. Cheeky little vote. Oncoming vehicles. Driving blind. Oh. See what I mean by driving blind. Let's have a look at this. So driving blind again, he's gone to the outside, he's cut to the inside of the truck, you're driving blind, your vehicle can't react, and that's why he's got a bit of understeer, he's reacted, he's turned the wheel, uh, which has caused him to hit the truck, that's going to take his vehicle out of flow again. Yes, we have vehicles that do try and take stupid overtakes, put people's lives at risk, but if it gets to that part, we will take them out. Um, it is just showing you how vehicles react on the road. Steve McQueen's not doing anything like that. He's poised, he's, he's holding back when he needs to, and he's pushing forward when he does. So as the pursuit goes in real life, it is very, very lifelike. So I like to do a bit of weaving behind him myself, let him know that I'm there. Bit of left and the right. Distracting both mirrors, normally flash your headlights as well. So a bit of a love tap, tactical contact. He's letting the vehicle know that he's there. He's letting the bandit driver know that he's there. He's not going to be going anywhere. If it's safe to do so and he can control it, he's going to do a pit manoeuvre or take it out. Um, he's basically saying, stop your car, stop being a dick, because I'm here and I'm better than you. Oof, I wouldn't be sat there if he had a shotgun. Come on, take him out. Fucking hit him. Oh. Boom. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, the curb. Again, you could see the, the bit of a skid there with uh, control, but um, very quick, very... It were controlled out of control skid, if that makes sense. Uh, love tap, send him in a petrol station, blew up petrol station up, probably killed 10 people. Would we have done that? Mm, don't know, it depends what petrol station it was. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, yeah, uh, he's ended the pursuit, he's brought the shit bags to justice, he's probably going to throw on tracking out on his car. Um, but is it real life? Is it close to real life? We love what he's done. Uh, would you get away with that in the UK? Absolutely not. Could you drive those cars in the UK? Absolutely not. Would you drive those cars around Bradford? Absolutely not. They'd be far too big. Um, I don't think you'd do well chasing a Nissan Micra in a, a, a 350 GT Mustang. Um, but all in all, it's a fantastic pursuit. It's a fantastic bit of driving. An out of 10, it's going to give it 11 out of 10 on the Ben Pearson pursuit scale. Um, so yeah, well done, Steve McQueen. Uh, your driving's phenomenal. We'll love you a bit. We'll love what you stood for. And it'll go down in history as probably the best car chase ever filmed. So that's it from me. That's another one. I've got one more pursuit video to do after this. Uh, stick with us because it's going to be the Ronin pursuit. And I hope you like it. If you want any merchandise, please click below. Uh, have a look. See what we've got. All mental health things are on our website. T-shirts, hoodies, caps, everything you want. We're all there. Um, thank you very much. I love you. Stay safe.